The idea that energy came in discrete packets or quanta was also successfully applied to the simplest of all atoms, the hydrogen atom, by Niels Bohr. So again, huge piece of contribution, huge contribution generally uh, in the 20th century to quantum mechanics came in the form of stuff with the hydrogen atom. And that was done by Niels Bohr, really cool guy. <clears throat> And, um, oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Julian. Thank you, Eversor. And thank you, Chickpea. Thank you, everybody, for being here. So the hydrogen atom in the 20th century by Niels Bohr and all of his work in the 20th century um, led to other aspects of atomic and nuclear physics. The existence of discrete energy levels in atoms and molecules is fundamental to the field of spectroscopy. So this fact about the discrete energy levels within an atom and all of the work that he did to explain the hydrogen atom further really opened up our understanding of, oh my gosh, like this is what goes on in an atom, like all the discrete energy levels and the excitations of electrons and of the ground state. Like if you've ever taken a quantum mechanics class, there's like the ground state, there's the N equals one, two, three, like that states and whatnot. And those discrete states is what's used in spectroscopy. And remember, where is spectroscopy super duper important? It's in very important in astronomy and in cosmology. We depend on spectroscopy. What things, spectroscopy or lines in a spectrum, if you will, like people people ask, like what, what line was absorbed? When, when somebody says something like that, what line was absorbed? What they mean is that is how they know what element they're looking at or what element may or may not be present in a star, for example, from spectroscopy from spectroscopic lines because different energies or different discrete energies are absorbed at different, uh, by different things and different, uh, and that's how you can identify the thing which has absorbed or emitted some line on a spectrum. So that, that, that is something super important.